Yo, what's good, people? Nick Smith back here with another Indiana Pacer My GM episode. Today we're up against the Cleveland Cavaliers in the third round matchup. The Cleveland Cavaliers, they have a team. Well, they got a big three, and they don't have Kevin Love. They actually traded Kevin Love this season in this My GM series for Paul Millsap. And, you know, honestly, that's not that bad of a trade. And, um, it, it's good because we got CJ Miles, you know, back and healthy, ready to go. But, CJ Miles, no, not CJ Miles, Paul Millsap for Kevin Love, that's a decent trade. And in real life, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if one day the, uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers trade Kevin Love. Because honestly, I don't think he works in that system very well. And they, they have been talks about, um, you know, the Cleveland Cavaliers getting rid of Timothy Mozgov. So, I would like to see whether Kevin Love gets traded eventually. Comment down below. Do you reckon Kevin Love will one day get traded from the Cleveland Cavaliers while LeBron and Kyrie are still there? I wonder. But, uh, yeah, like I was saying, the uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers, they got a pretty nice squad. Whereas we have a nice squad, but it's not as nice. We got Paul George to match up with LeBron James. I'll take that. Two superstar players. And the shot clock was winding down, so I had to take a terrible shot. Then we got D-Rose matching up against Kyrie Irving. I'd probably at this time take Kyrie Irving, just because obviously, you know, Derrick Rose has injuries and he's not as good anymore, can't really shoot. He's lacking in the ability to drive and inside as well. But, um, yeah, obviously, you know, at this point in time, I take Kyrie Irving in, in this My Gem series. Um, but, you know, when I play with Derrick Rose, to me, he's, he's a really good player, so that's why he's still on this team. And then obviously, I'd probably take Paul Millsap over Kenneth Reed because uh, Kenneth, all he can really do is rebound, and he can't really shoot, he can't really score that well, he's the man so he's cool, I like his hair, but he's not the greatest player in 2K, anyway, CJ Miles, he's clutch as hell, gets that 3 to go with 27 seconds left, now it's 5 seconds left, bad shot right there, we had no timeouts, so we couldn't, you know, get a shot off right here, and uh, we're going into overtime. Game one, going into overtime, and yeah. Now, last episode, we were so close to 38,000 subscribers. We were at like 37,997 subscribers when I uploaded the video or something. So now we reached a good 38,000 of you, and I want to say big thanks. Denied. Kenneth getting that huge block on LeBron right there. But yeah, I want to say a big... Look at D-Rose! Oh, <laughs> I thought he was going to slam that one down. But, uh, yeah, I want to say a huge thanks to everyone, every one of you. But, you know, if you just liked the video, commented a video on a video, subscribe to the channel, hit me up on Twitter, anything, man. I, I appreciate all the love and support that you guys show every single time I upload a video. And, uh, you know, yesterday I was up 3.30 a.m. uploading that video for you guys yesterday. So I'm pretty tired today. But, uh, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. But uh, when school goes back... I got to, uh, I got to maybe go to a little, I got to go to bed a little bit early, because, uh, I'll be dead, but, uh, look at this, man, Ken Faree, you know, I, I was, I was saying he didn't have the greatest offensive ability, he gets that nice dunk to go, and, uh, you know, Ken is good on the pick and rolls, that's where he's really good, but when, when a team covers the paint, and plays a zone, where, you know, the paint is never open, then Ken Faree really struggles, so, don't expect me to keep Kenneth Reed if you're a Kenneth fan. Um, on draft night, I might look to trade him uh, just to free up some cap space to get a better pick. Because um, honestly, you know, his, his uh, salary is a lot for what he does. And I want to get a good free agent. Um, so, yeah. Paul George, you bet. He's going to hit that three. It's a one-point game. Two minutes left. And look at this. D Rose gets a huge block right there. Unfortunately, LeBron gets that. But uh, that was I was going hype. You know, originally this video was a live commentary, but yeah, like I said in the, in my last video, every time I did a live commentary, the audio was just messing up. So I, I'm trying to find a fix as D Rose turns back the clock and he's like, "Welcome to your Kodak moment, boy. I'm gonna slam it on you tonight." Woo! D Rose gets that dunk to go, and then LeBron James. Oh my goodness, I was getting hyped, and then LeBron says, you know what, I, you know, I'm, I'm the king. D-Rose was so close to getting that layup to go, he did miss, and that would have been huge, because we only would have been down by one point. Now we're down by three, 
The Cavaliers have LeBron, and he has the ball. The Cavaliers have LeBron, and he has the ball. I played shocking defense right there, and he gets that two to go. So now we have to play the failing game. Look at this. D. Rose was just holding on. Kyrie didn't like that. That got a little bit of beef going on right there. But he makes two free throws. And right here, pretty much the game is over. Or is it? Is the game over? I don't know. I guess you guys will have to find out. We call for a timeout. Look at this play. Beautiful play right there. Getting the easy layup. But uh, yeah, it was too... Too far, too late. We couldn't get this win. Six point game, six seconds left, no timeouts. We had to go all the way. Paul George from downtown, he couldn't get this to go. And so we lost game one, unfortunately. Look at Miles Turner, though, reaching over the back. And somebody told me that I um that I changed Miles Turner's number. I didn't realize that Miles Turner's number was changed. So I apologize for that. Um, I'm definitely gonna change Miles Turner's you know, number back to what it was. I didn't change it, so I don't know how it got changed, but uh, I was comparing LeBron James to Paul George right there, like the stats, and they were pretty even throughout that game, which is pretty cool. And then, uh, yeah, here's game number two. Time to get this win. I mean, we're up against the Cleveland Cavaliers, right? This team is good, and especially that the Warriors didn't make it past the first round, I don't think. The Spurs didn't make it past the first round, I don't think. And the Thunder didn't make it past the first round, I don't think. Or maybe one of them did. Um, no, they didn't. Look, Warriors, Spurs, Thunder didn't make it past the first round. The Clippers didn't make it past the second round. So, I mean, the Cleveland Cavaliers, if they make it to the NBA Finals, they have a guaranteed championship pretty much. Whereas, if we make it to the NBA Finals, we, we still have to fight for, for a victory. Anyway, tied game right here, 114 to 114, 40 seconds left, we have to play some solid defense, please do not give up a shot. And look at this, Paul George always gets fouled out, I don't know why, but he just does. LeBron James misses that mid-range shot right there, so we catch a break, I was giving it up to George Hill right here, and I was like, let's slow it down right here. Let's get a quick isolation, Kyrie on George Hill, I try to get Kyrie with a quick cross, but he's playing great defense, I do a spin move, and you know in 2k if you do a spin move, it always messes up, I didn't mean to do a spin move, it just happened, so now with 13 seconds left, they have the ball, D Rose covering, I don't know what I was doing, I decided to double team, and uh, it's okay in the end, but... Yeah, Kenneth Reed, what are you doing, buddy? If he was just a good defensive player, he would have just had his hands up and he didn't have to push him. It, tur it turns out he just pushed him for no reason instead of putting his hands up. So with five seconds left, five points, five seconds left to be exact. They, uh, they get two free throws to go. And I was trying to go all the way. And look at that, man. Are you serious? <sighs> 2K does not like me right here. And we played the failing game, but it didn't matter because, you know, after that, it was a three-point game with 0.2 seconds left. The game was over, okay? The game was over. We turned it over again, and, uh, yeah, the game was over. And then the uh, the owner said, don't get swept. And I was like, you know what? I don't know if we could do that. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we're trying not to get swept right now. And the sad thing is, all, the, all these games have been really, really close. Like... We went to overtime twice, I think. We lost by like two points and one point and three points. It's crazy. Like, all the games have been really close. So what I got out of this playoff series was we are competitive. We will be competitive after next season. If we can acquire that player in free agency that we need, an Andre Drummond, a Hassan Whiteside, a Dwight Howard, a DeMar DeRozan, a, a, one of those caliber players like one of them, we will be competitive next season. Teaming him up with Paul George and Derrick Rose, that would be nice. Maybe not even Derrick Rose because we have to see what his contract's looking like and how he plays and all that stuff. But this was the last game we actually played. We got eliminated right here, unfortunately. But I don't mind because next season, we're sticking together. We're getting free agents. We're getting some good draft picks. My dog's barking in the background. Shut up, dog. But... This should be good right here. The Cleveland Cavaliers went up against the Houston Rockets in the, play, in the uh, NBA Finals. Dwight Howard, James Harden facing up against LeBron and Kyrie with Paul Millsap. The Cavaliers won the NBA championship in the end, so I wasn't too upset that I lost to them. Because uh, if you lose to a championship team, then 
I think it's okay, especially since it's the first year of this My GM series. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. I literally just saw this as I was ending this video. Are you serious right now, Drummond? I wanted you on this team.